go down. Uh, Damien, we were talking there about how Foden in particular, but also Grealish and Mount and the way he had it configured this evening seemed to address that kind of stodginess and lack of creativity that they had. How close is that to what England will look like next summer, do you think? I'm not sure, but it's certainly going to give Gareth Southgate food for thought. That uh, it, 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 It's another string to their bow. They've been pretty rigid with this 3-4-3 now for the past 12 months. It's worked in certain games, it hasn't worked in others. They've looked, as you said, stodgy at, at certain times during the year. Um, and I was delighted to see him break away from it and actually put a, a system in place to break down a low block. You know, tonight the tactics were spot on. You know, textbook beating a low block, creating, packing the middle of the park with, with creative players, still getting your width as well from, from your wing-backs, but um, I thought they got a spot on today. Mm. Is it going to be a horses for courses thing because they have what Croatia, Scotland, Czech Republic, but diff maybe different challenges later on the tourn tournament if they get through, so will it, will it be different players for different types of opposition? Well, in tournament competitions, you, you can't get away with playing the same team every match. You need options, but I also think you need a bit of... Um, versatility and options with the system. I don't believe that you can just go, we're a 3-4-3 three, three team mm. or we're a 4-4-2 four, four, team. I think you have to have uh, some sort of flexibility in the tactical side of it when you get get to that level. You may have a basic one, which appears to be the case now with Gareth Silke, that he's saying, I, I'm going to play three centre-backs. Although we did see against Belgium when he was chasing the game, he, he changed to four. But I, I think you have to have a basic structure, but the players also need to be trained and coached in another system of play. You cannot be completely predictable if you're going to beat the best teams. You, you can you can rely on organisation, structure, each player knowing his role in the team, but it can't be only on one system. So I think tonight was interesting from that point of view, whether Declan Rice alone would be good enough to protect mm. the defensive players England have against real quality is, an, is another thing to consider. I would have my doubts about that and that's why I think he's been playing Henderson beside him at times and other players in the two in front of centre-halves. Against Iceland, you need attacking players on the pitch and you should play plenty of them in order to break down that sort of thing. But the opposition from now on won't be that easy. Well, just before we look at tonight's action then, just to, just to mention there, and I don't know, people might, you know, criticise the, the Nations League tournament and, and question the value of it, but if you look at the four teams that are through now to, to the finals next October, the four top teams in the top league, Belgium, France, um, Italy um, and Spain, who we saw last night, are England a little bit off that, or are they competitive at that level? Well, I think they're, they're they're ranked fourth in the world, and I think that their reluctance to break away from that 3-4-3 system cost them a couple of results. I think in Denmark, uh, the game they lost, really, they could have topped their group. It was it was there for them. Um, so I, I think that their rigidity and sticking to that, I, I, I've never been a fan of it. Uh, whether or not, and by all the po points Brian made there are quite correct, whether or not he'd have the, the courage or, or, or the audacity to play this system in a big game against Spain in, in a semi-final or something, I don't know. Will he just always revert to type and, 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 and mm. be kind of safe and protected? Because that's what they say about him in England, don't he? He's a bit kind of buttoned up and yeah, he's yeah, yeah, not yeah, cavalier I, enough. I mean, they need to try this in the World Cup qualifiers and really work on it. And I hope he doesn't go down the route of a lot of other England managers that play Phil Ford and widen the left to three. Well, he's in the team. No, 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 no. Get him in the middle of the park.